Uh, one of my first influences, I would say, was, was graffiti. And um, I, I hadn't even known about airbrushing. Um, I think it was somebody, one of my customers wanted me to do, I didn't even know spray cans, to be honest with you. I just did graffiti with markers and I was inspired by graffiti, but I wasn't a graffiti artist. I, I was using it like a spray gun. Uh, basically, I didn't, as a matter of fact, the first airbrush I had was like a spray gun. It was what you call a single action, where you don't have the control. It's one setting and one spray size all the way through. So it was more like a spray can. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, how, uh, that's how I got started with it. And um, I think it's good that they have a show about artists and how they live, you know, I mean, I, I, uh, I think that's, that's gonna be awesome. I think everybody needs to see it too, you know, I mean, I do, I do teach a lot and I come across all different types of students. And what I've learned, uh, the people that are, are the best, that make a good student are the ones, not necessarily who have the natural talent um, and uh, not the guy who just wants to do this to pick up a new craft where they can make money. It's the one that really is passionate about it. I, I see myself more um, definitely going into doing fine art. Um, you know, I, I've, that's something that I've been, haven't had much time because of the, you know, the daily grind, always needing to make money to, to live and survive. I always kind of push that, push that aside. You know, I try to put myself a little bit into every piece that I do. So I think, if I had to say, I'd say anything that, uh, that I'm creating beauty for somebody and at the same time I'm trying to put something of myself into it. And um, yeah, that's, that's it pretty much. <laughs>